fear focus. Many times in our lives, we we go through things, uh, feelings, things happen to us, and we, we, we pick a particular response. And the fact that we pick a particular response, we have a certain outlook on life, is, is determined by what's happening around us spiritually and how we respond to spiritual forces that surround us. Looking at Hagar, um, we know who Hagar was. She was the concubine of Abraham and Sarah. Um, Sarah chose her. And the Bible, part of the Bible that I, that I want to address in terms of the fear focus is Hagar. Um, Hagar was a slave from Egypt. So it seems that what the people of God did to other people turned around and cost them 10, 20, 1,000, a million fold. And sometimes that's the way it is for people who have God, because when we go wrong often, it's like the price is so high. So as if the, the tables turn. So if you're going through a problem right now and you, you feel as if there's no hope, there's no justice, just look at the issue of Hagar, Egyptian slavery, and what happened to the people of Israel, because God is not mocked. And in this part of the Bible, Hagar is on the run, and Hagar runs because of the way she's treated by by Sarah. She's being mistreated by the people of God. And the angel of the Lord sees her. God sees Hagar. Hear me. Hagar was not of the promise. Hagar was, was of a people who were doomed to be humiliated and, and damaged by, by the Lord God. Yet still the Lord, the Lord stopped and he, he saw and, and he dealt with her need. If you are going through a problem right now and you think that you're not as good as the people of God, the holy people. If you think that you're not in that clan, that, that you're too far gone or you're too um, far out of, of, of the club of people who were anointed, don't be fooled. God loved Hagar. And if God can stop what he's doing and send an angel, send an angel um, to, to Hagar, that tells you exactly how important each of us are to the Lord. And the angel of the Lord speaks to Hagar and the angel says, fear not. And that's the issue here. You can be in circumstances where you you find that what you're going through is so hard and it's so painful. You don't know how to deal with it and you may run. And and we may run not only physically, but we can run by 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 some sort of diversion. We can we can run by going through passive aggressive behavior. We can run by dealing in anger. We can run by fighting back, in fact, because we don't want to feel the emotion that that we're feeling. But the Bible says that when when, when any one of us fear or, or running, the Bible is clear that God did not give us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. So these things that we call emotions, these things that we call fears, anxieties, depressions, even joy, these things are have a spiritual basis. These are spiritual things. We, we, it's like we live in an ocean teeming with spirits and they're like, like, like schools of fish and they're swirling all around us. And, and, and it's up to us who, what spirit we're going to let in. This is just like in Deuteronomy when the Lord God and in, and in Genesis where in Deuteronomy, the Lord God says that I place before you today blessings and curses, life and death, the tree of life and the tree of knowledge and good of evil. It's a choice. What you feel right now, it's a choice. And what you have to do is, 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 is not choose the negative thing, but choose the positive thing. Choose to focus on what the Lord says. And often we don't know what to choose because we're so hardwired to worry, so hardwired to be afraid. So hardwired to lose sleep, so hardwired to to be anxious, so hardwired to think that if anything happens to us, even if it's good, we believe it's going to end in disaster. It's a choice. It's a spirit. And the Lord God is, is saying to you in his word, and I love this word, he, he's saying, be careful for nothing. But in everything through prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be known unto God. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. So we live in a spiritual world. 
what happens, what's happening to you the way you feel is not some defect in your character. It's that you're more comfortable. You have familiar spirits and you, you, you have to rebuke this thing and you don't need to go through some great seance or ceremony, whatever. You just have to change your mind, which is another word for repent. You can choose. God has placed before you blessings and curses. Choose the blessing. And the blessing you have to choose is to rely on the Lord. Lord, we thank you. We love you. We adore you. We lift you up. We give you praise, honor, and glory. Enable us all, O oh Father God, that when, when those thoughts come into our minds, that we take them captive, O oh Father Lord, and we rebuke the enemy off of our thoughts and our feelings, Lord. And we, we believe, we get big, and let us begin to believe, Lord, that we can find justice and peace within your arms. Lord, we love you, thank you, and we adore you. And in your holy name we say, amen.